Welcome back to Golf Carts Unlimited. In the shop today, we've got a Yamaha G22 G Max gas golf cart. And we pulled a few things off of it to clean it up a little bit. We've already done all the oils and fluids, uh, all the filters. We're going to make this a project, so we decided we're going to put a light kit into it. So stick around. We're going to put a light kit in a Yamaha G22. We're going to be installing our basic light kit that you can get from the website on our G22 today. That comes with a template there, and you probably want to take that down to a printer and make a few extra copies of that, just in case something were to, to happen when you're working through this. And the rest of it is just simple tools that we have here in the shop, and as we go through this install, we'll show you what we're doing with all of that. The first step in all this is to take your template and the extra copies that you made Go ahead and cut them out. We're going to be taping these to the front here, lining them up, making sure they look good before we start any cutting. We've got our templates all cut out. And we've got them taped on. We've taken a little time and used the body panels and the edges on the, the cart itself to line up our template. Once we're happy with both sides, you take your time with that. Step back, look at it when you're happy. Then take your dry erase marker and do like we've done here. We've traced all the way around the outside edges. And it's okay if you get over on the white paper. The ultimate end is that we're going to cut out all the blue anyway. So it's just going to end up being right at the edge of the template anyway. We've taken the templates off the cart, stepped back a little bit and looked at it. looks good to us. So the next step is going to be drill pilot holes. Well, we've got our holes ready to be cut. We're going to put in some pilot holes, and we've checked the size of our jigsaw bit. We want to get our drill bit just a little bit bigger than that so that we've got some room to work with that. And we're going to put some pilot holes in the corners of the upper part. We've got another hole saw that we'll use for the hole down here. Before you get started, you want to be sure that everything behind here is clear. If you need to, you may have to take your nose panel off, but with this part, We've got a lot of working room back here, so we're okay with doing this on the cart. The next step here is going to be to use our jigsaw and cut out this light hole. We're going to be doing a paint job on our body here, so we're not too concerned about scratching it. We'll take care of that with the paint job. But if you've got a finished cart, one of the KG Veteran tricks you might want to use is taking a little of this weather seal taping it across the bottom of your jigsaw so you don't scratch your cart up. And we're just going to go in, cut these things out. We've got a PVC blade down here. That works real well. And we've got our jigsaw set to the PVC setting. Well, we've taken some time and cut away all the blue marker that we laid down. I elected to use our jigsaw very carefully, just taking our time and cutting out the blue sections. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, that's okay. You can use a tool like this. We've actually got a stone on here that does a pretty good job, variable speed, and just take your time and etch away at all the blue sections until you've got it like we have it here. Then, we're gonna take our three inch hole saw cut out the turn signal section. And this one, you're going to have to take your time as well. Don't push too hard. Let the saw do the work. We've got all our holes cut. Now we're going to see if we did it right. With this light kit, what we're concerned about is this body line coming down the nose here and the edge of our light here. We want to kind of marry those up as best we can. This one looks like I've got to slide the light over to the outside a little bit. So what I'll have to do now is spend a little time on this edge here and this edge here on the hole. So I'll take care of that and we'll come back and see how it looks. And there it is. Lights are installed. That really does change the look of this cart, now doesn't it? 
And we're not going to put these in just yet. We're going to send this body out to paint. But when you are ready, after you've done all your wiring, there's pop rivets that come with the kit, and there's dimples all along the bezel of the light. With a helper, hold it into place, get it just right, drill your hole, put a pop rivet in to hold it in place, get them all in before you start driving them all home. Then your light's installed. Installing the rear lights is very similar to the front. We cut out our stencils, taken a little time, we've measured, measured twice, measured three times, then we've or traced it out again. We just take these off, drill our pilot holes, and cut out the hole. Got our pilot holes drilled. Now it's just a matter of taking our jigsaw and cutting around the blue. Now the rear lights are in. Look good. Again, take your time with this. Step back. Ease them into place just where you want them. And just like the front ones, they have dimples here for the pop rivets. Again, have a helper hold it in place, cut the hole in, put the pop rivet in, and then don't sink them home until you got all four holes set and the pop rivet's ready to go. We like to keep the spare pieces here just uh, for, yeah, scrap pieces for test holes. As you can see, this is still our G22. We took the body in the paint. The next step for us is gonna be to put in our headlight switch. You select this spot here on the dash. Neat thing about working on older golf carts is there's usually never a lack of pencils. get our wiring harness all pulled out, figure out where things go. Everything's all set up with a quick disconnect for the lights. In this kit, well, those go to the back, and these will go to the front. Now we have to mount our relay, and we're going to do that kind of close to the battery so that we can make our connect electrical connections to the battery. With the body out, you can see the framework here. We like to pop the relay close to the battery. Fits real well, tucked nicely right about in here. Now you can use a self-tapping screw, drill a pilot hole, put it right in. We mounted our relay. The next step will be to stake all these looms through the bottom of the body and to their respective spots. Now you just follow along underneath the cart and you'll see where the pre-existing wires go. Just follow along those lines. We've decided to come to the back section first. We brought our wire harnesses up through the body sections and brought them right along where the existing stuff already is. At this point, we're going to find a, where we're going to put the Y. What I like to do is lay these pieces into place here. And that's about right. We want these to lay right here so that when we put the body back on, we'll be able to connect into the lights. So what I'm gonna do now is just zip tie this wire along this frame member here. Now what that does is it leaves all this excess stuff. And all I'm gonna do, wind it back on itself, put a couple of zip ties in along with the existing stuff and it'll sit there real pretty. Well, we've got this far now. We've snaked everything up underneath the cart, zip tied it up, used some of the existing body panel clips in there, and got all our wires up front here. The next step is going to be to take our 
headlight switch and run it through the firewall up to the back of the cup holder up to where we mounted our switch. And then for the headlights, we've got a whole bunch of excess loom. All we have to do is coil this up and we're going to zip tie it right up under here, leaving ourselves enough room to hook our lights in. At this point, we're ready to make our electrical connections. Because we put our relay so close to the battery, we have a lot of extra wire. That's all right, we can cut this back. We'll do that. We also like to put on a couple of different types of quick connectors. I don't know if you can see that so well, but that's a connector that will fit over your battery post and give us three connections for electrical wires. And we can use a quick connector for the wire and make our electrical connection. So we'll try to get a close-up shot of that for you when we get it all done. Well, there's the install for the light kit. As you can see, we've put our battery connectors on. I'm going to cover this up so you can see better. Battery connector here, wire connector here. This leaves uh, the new owner to a couple of extra spots if he wants to add some accessories. Well, as you can see, we've got our body back from paint. This one's going to be our black low rider almost done with our light install. We put the lights in, make sure that they fit nice where they, they should. And then you have a couple of options. You can either put in some rivets that came with the kit, or you can put in a screw and then afterwards just dab the head with a little black paint to kind of match as best you can. We like prefer to use the uh, rivet kit that comes with the, the light kit itself. And then it really is just as simple as taking a drill motor, Finding the dimples that are in the, the bezel of the light itself, using those as a guide, have someone help you. Hold it, drill it, put the, the rivet in, and you're done with that thing. Just connect everything up and it should work just fine. Well, here it is, our 03 Yamaha G22 Lowrider. A little bit of time, a little effort, some help with some friends. You too can blind your neighbors in style.